everyone. I am Gabrielle, Application Specialist at Mamaki. And I'm still Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mamaki's Technology Center. Today we look forward to presenting various workflows and solutions that combine Mamaki's leading technologies for print and cut with Shimica's award-winning heat transfer products. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, I'm Lewis Jones with Mamaki USA. To make complex heat transfer designs with more colors, for example, you'll need a printer. Mamaki CJV line is an eco-solvent printer with a cutter incorporated inside of it, making it easy to print and cut your designs in one machine. Now we're gonna have Ben come in and tell us how this material works with this printer. And here we are printing on the Hotmark Print Revolution, the 1798. And it is our thin, stretchable PU printer printable with the universal low temp glue. This product has a semi matte finish uh, and a bit brighter a white finish to allow for some dynamic color with your uh, designs. And the bond to its liner makes it very simple to work with. So weeding and masking for application is quite simple. The universal low temp adhesive on here is compatible with cotton, polyester, blended fabrics, acrylic fabrics, heat sensitive textiles, and even nylon. It's a perfect match with the Mamaki Eco Solvent and Solvent printers, and it's available in roll sizes from 15 inch up to 60 inch. All right, and now that this image is print and cut and ready for application, we're going to move over and show you the weeding and masking process to get this ready for heat transfer to a t-shirt. Now that we have our designs printed and cut, I just want to show you how easy and user friendly this particular product is. For this particular one that's already been cut, so let's just show how easy it is to weave the mat, uh, the extra material from the backing. And then we'll use a little bit smaller a design to show you how easily we can mask and lift the product and get it ready. Because of the bond from this printable film to the liner, you do not need a high tack tape. You actually need low and probably medium is the maximum because it's very easy. to mask the artwork and remove the liner and have it ready for application. All right, let's get ready and apply our design. For this particular print media, what makes it unique is the universal low temperature glue that's on here. We don't have absolute instructions, but instead offer a recommended application range or combination of time and temperature. For this particular garment, though, let's go ahead and press it at the hottest recommended temperature, 285 degrees, for five seconds. We're going to go ahead and preheat the garment just a little bit in order to get some of the excess moisture out. Let's go ahead and place our artwork. with the Teflon and apply at 285 for five seconds. With the hot mark print revolution, you have the option of peeling hot or cold. I tend to normally wait until I can touch it comfortably and remove the mask.
All right, the first workflow we'll be showing is the simple cut and transfer workflow using our Hotmark Revolution and a CG cutter from Mamaki. I've already had one of our designs, our pre-cut designs here, and just want to give you an idea on how simple it is to cut and to weed and prepare the design for application. The Hotmark Revolution has the same adhesive layer as our Hotmark Print Revolution. And that universal low temp adhesive allows you to apply your design onto cotton, polyester, poly blends, acrylic garments, heat sensitive fabrics, and even nylon. Now that we have our design cut and weeded, this is ready to be applied. With this particular application, we're going to use our cut and weeded design and apply it to a youth, ba a youth basketball jersey, jersey that is 100% polyester. Just a reminder again that the Hotmark Revolution has the universal low temp adhesive on there and is compatible with cotton, polyester, poly blends, acrylic fabrics, heat sensitive fabrics, and nylon. Outstanding for team gear, community events, fundraisers, athletic apparel. Some of you may already have a printer without the cutting features that the CJV series has. In that case, you will have to add a CG cutter to your workflow to cut your designs after printing. This is done easily thanks to Bomaki's ID cut function, which allows you to read the cut marks to ensure accuracy. While most heat transfer solutions for wearable apparel use eco-solvent technologies, Momaki is leading the market on UV row-to-row -row innovations. The recommended use for UV ink or more rigid non-wearable items such as bags, backpacks, or hats. If you have any questions about these applications, post them in the chat window. Also, stay tuned for the Q&A session where we'll be taking your questions live. Any additional questions you might have after this session, please visit Shimaka's booth. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of your time at the ISA Virtual Show.